Hello everyone, welcome to the new video. So as you know, you have but recently released a set of new certifications and one of that includes the specialized AI professional certification. Um, so when it comes to this certification, we covered a lot of uh, videos before um, along with Melissa as well from the UiPath Academy team explaining what is the learning plan available in the UiPath Academy for the Specialized AI Provisional Certification and uh, we also did several sessions uh, covering what to expect and how we can start learning. So this video is specially for the Specialized AI Provisional Certification and here we will look at what are the things that are covered in the certification and how you can prepare. So this is going to be a series of videos um, that I'm going to do to support the learning plan of, uh, for the certification so that you can um, easily pass the certification at the end. So in here I'll be focusing on different areas. Uh, during the series by uh, creating several videos on this. So to get started, let's see what what is the sp specialized AI professional certification and what are the things that are covered. So right now what you see on the screen is the academy under certification. Here you can see the information about the specialized AI certification. And if you go to the learning plan, In the UiPath Academy, we see several learning plans available and one of that is the Specialized AI Professional Training. And here there are several areas covered. One is the introduction to Specialized AI and the next topic is the AI Center. Then you have a series of uh, training uh, material that you can go for document understanding and lastly you have the communications mining and at the end you also have a practice exam that you can try answering the questions and and see your knowledge so this is the overview of the learning plan um, in terms of the certification let's quickly look at the documentation that's available so this is the specialized ai exam description document the link is also available in the uh, the video description so you can also have a look so there's the first version and let's see what this is so the target audience for the certification includes the automation developers who are involved in document understanding and communications mining projects and it's not just the automation developers it also includes solution architects, solution designers, automation engineers, and basically everyone who are involved in document understanding and communications mining related projects. So what is the minimum qualification needed? We basically need to have at least the associate level or above. So in other words, the associate exam or the advanced UIARD is the one that is needed as the base for this because it is an advanced certification and that requires you to have the basic understanding about certain areas and it's also good if you have some hands-on training on the document understanding and also on communications mining so now let's quickly look at what are the products that are going to be covered and what version of the products that are going to be covered in this specialized AI professional training. So all the products we will be covering is the 22.10 version. So this includes the UiPath document understanding, communications mining and the studio. In addition to that, we also have the AI center, action center, assistant and the robots and the orchestrator. So all these products will be covered in this certification and you will be getting questions on all of these things. And then when it comes to the exam topics and the sections, 
in high level this can be separated into three areas one is the ai center and the next one is the document understanding itself and the other one will be the communications mining so under each there will be several areas that are going to be covered in well detail um, and we will be looking into all of these things throughout our series so let's just glance through what are the details that are going to be covered in this exam topics when it comes to document understanding <coughs> uh, what is the document understanding the differences between structured unstructured and semi-structured documents differentiate between the two common types of data extraction methodologies like rule based and model based and differentiate between the OCR and document understanding. So most of these things are covered in our YouTube as well. We have several videos and video series that address a lot about document understanding and the model training side. And uh, we also have several videos around the document understanding framework, but I will be creating more videos on these things. And then comes the studio, studio activities for DU. So this includes the taxonomy manager, the digitizing activities, um, and several properties around digitizing like the document object model, the dif different OCR engines, classification, extraction, uh, the validation methods, and how you use the AI center to validate this information and export the extraction results and how you train the models. So all of these things in the UiPath document understanding activities will be addressed and we will look into these things in detail in the following, the following videos. So those are all about the activities. And then comes the implementation methodology. So this also includes several areas like how you gather the requirements, how you analyze the data, and the best practices, what do you do to select the required model, and the process design, AI units, the consumption of AI units, all of these things will be considered. And when it comes to AI Center, this is where this, the AI Center plays a major role in document understanding. So we will also need to look into <coughs> what AI Center is, how it works, and what are the different models available, and uh, basically what is the difference between AI, ML, NLP, all these things will be needed to be covered. And not just that, you also need to have a good understanding of our AI Center, what are the different sections available in AI Center and what each and every component in AI Center does and how it helps to get the models trained and up and running. So all those things will be covered um, in our videos. And, and again, I'm repeating some of these things are already covered in the video, so we also have detailed videos that we can always refer to but i will also create a few videos to address areas that are not covered and it will be easy for you to refer while you learn for the certification and the next one is the document understanding template so we here we will talk about the template itself and how these things can be how how the different sections in the template can be used for our implementation and once you're done with that then we comes into the communications mind in here we will be looking into the different areas of communications mining so first of all is the overall understanding about what is communications mining what is the difference between the different mining tools that we have in your um, and then comes the different areas like the model training, taxonomy design, um, communications mining setup, discovery, explore. So there are so many areas that we will be covering throughout this. So there's quite a lot of content, but 
um, in the UiPath Academy, all of these things are covered, but we will also address few areas to support the learning and uh, making sure that you cover all the possible uh, content that is needed for the certification. So this is the plan and uh, we will be looking into these sections in the following, uh, following videos. First of all, we will start with AI Center, then Document Understanding and lastly into Communications Mining. So I'll also show you how we can set this uh, set the exam as a part of this video. So if you go to the certification, if you scroll down to AI Center, here you can schedule your exam. Once you click on this, it will take you to the Pearson website. And from here, you can sign in and uh, schedule your exam. So this is the plan for the upcoming series. Um, so stay tuned to get more information about this learning plan and also more content around different areas that are not covered in the your, uh, YouTube channel. So I will see you with another set of videos very soon. Stay tuned and take care.